Hello Cancer, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. It doesn't cost you anything and it means that others can benefit. Please remember this is a general reading, so please take what resonates. This is Romance, Cupid, Arrow, Stripes. So there's romance coming in for those that are looking for it. Let's see if we can find out. I'll do three for you, three for your person and three for an outcome. That's for you. Let's see what else spirit we have. We have temperance. We have the hanged man. And we have the nine of swords. Now this is anxiety. This is worry. It could be that you're manifesting a relationship and you think it's never going to come. So this is unnecessary worry because things are going to happen when the time's right here. You might feel as if you're in limbo, as if you've been waiting for a long time, thinking, like I say, I'm getting nowhere with this. Will this ever happen to me? Will I ever find the right person? I'm ever going to meet somebody that I can have a relationship with. And suddenly, you know, you go from being limbo and there's a light bulb moment and someone comes forward. And this is going to balance you out. You're going to feel good about this person. You're going to know when you meet them. It's going to put an end to your worry and anxieties because I think you're concerned that you're never going to meet anyone. Let's see if we can find out about this person for you. We have the Three of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Page of Cups. Now, there is somebody coming in. There's somebody who's going to offer you their cup of love. What's happening is they're having to recover just now. The person that's meant to cross your path has had some upset in their life and they're having to wait and resolve that. So there's a grieving process here, a healing process from some sort of upset within their life. Now, it could be a divorce, it could be leaving another relationship, or it could be anything else that's upset them. But this is an upsetting time. It's holding the vibration back. But there is a chance that they're going to come forward. It might also be somebody that you're friendly with here that could turn into a relationship. So there's been disappointment for them and upset. They're not quite ready yet. They will heal from this and stability will come back into their life. They will resolve this. And when they resolve this, that is when it's likely that they will come forward. Now, this could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy or somebody with that in their chart. But they're definitely coming. Queen of Pentacles. This is the overall energy for the relationship. The Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. So there has been boredom, there has been upset. This person might feel the same as you. And maybe there's never been anybody that's crossed their path that they've felt that they could have a relationship with. Everybody's bored and fed up. But somebody's coming in, you're going to cross each other's path and you're going to be able to focus on the present, not on past disappointments, you see. You want this person to be well, you want them to be healed from all their past experiences so that they can dedicate and focus their time on you and put the effort into the relationship. Now, this is a well-balanced relationship. It's going to feel good. Um, you're going to be able to work together on this. You've learned from past mistakes and you're, you're determined, the two of you, you're not going to do it wrong again. And this is somebody who's nurturing, who's looking for commitment here. It's somebody who you could build a long-term relationship with. Now, the Queen of Pentacles here is a stable um, energy. She, I'm saying she, it's not a gender-specific reading, but she's definitely somebody who could, um, you know, who's prepared to create a home with you and put the work in. Absolutely put the work in. So let's see what the bottom end say. Yes, yes. Very independent, good, well-balanced relationship. You can still have your opinions. It's not a codependent relationship. You're well-balanced. You're ready for the person to come in. What's holding them up here is that they need to sort out their disappointments first so that they're on the same vibrational uh, energy as you. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.